Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Really quickly, friends, I'm on my website, hlmodtech.com. I want to mention up here we have the categories, including code blocks. Friends, you'll find a ton of awesome lessons here, including the Fab Five. There's a table, a chair, a jet, a picnic table, and a rocket. These are all intended to be your first starters when you use code blocks. You should have a better understanding and then can move on to more advanced ones, like the awesome bucket seat. I use this as a part in a ton of my lessons. That's why I'm sharing it with you. Friends, one of my viewers, Brian, said, hey, can you make this in the normal design? Friends, of course I can, so let me show you how to do it. Of course, step one is to visit Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google. When you hit new, we are going to do 3D design. First step is to rename it. I'm going to call it Bucket Seat. And then we're going to move over here and we're going to bring out a cube. We are not going to change its measurements at all. We are going to change the radius to two and just leave it like that. That's going to be the start of our bucket seat. Now we want to cut in the spot where we sit, so we're going to do Control D. We're going to move the other one over. Friends, we need to make this a little smaller. I'm going to subtract two on each side. So I'm going to make this 18, 18, and 18. We're going to change it to a hole. Select the two of them. We're going to do a line. We want them to be aligned to the top, aligned to the center, and then we want to bring it to the front. Notice if you hit the corner of the cube, it's easier to see these three are on this side. We, so we chose front, middle, and top. Friends, when you group those, you have got the start of your bucket seat. Now, friends, I don't like the way this corner turned out. So watch this. We are going to double click to edit. We're going to click on that hole. Notice it shows us the hole. And if you use the arrow key, you can nudge it one click forward. And I'm also going to raise it up by holding control and tapping the up arrow. This will cut it out a little better when we click. And bam, that is the shape I want for my bucket seat. All right, friends, I don't want these sides on my chair. So we're going to cut them out really quick. Watch how easily. We're going to bring out the cube. If we align these, you'll see they line up exactly because they were both 20 by 20. This one does have the sharp edges, so let's put the two, we'll round that just in case. Let's switch to a two millimeter nudge. Let's go forward one, two, three clicks. Now let's do control up, one, two, three clicks. If you take a look at that, that is pretty darn sweet. If we select that and hit group, bingo, you have just cut out a decent chair. Now, I really don't like the way this rounds right here, so I'm going to double click it and watch this. If I stretch it and I stretch it, so notice it was pink and we were editing. Now, when I click out here, it makes it permanent, and bingo, that is the look I was looking for. Now, friends, we're going to add a headrest with the round roof. I'm going to tell you to bring it in, and currently it was 20. I'm going to tell you to make it 6. I'm also going to take the 20, and I'm going to make it 16, so that way it's a little skinnier. And let's change the height to 8 and press Enter. That looks pretty darn nifty. You can pick the color you want. I'm going to make mine yellow. I'm going to make the seat blue just because that's what I want to use. Friends, we're going to add two little posts to set this on. Bring out a cylinder. I'm going to tell you to hold down shift and I'm going to tell you to shrink it. I'm going to go to size two. Notice because I held shift when I typed the two, it all snaps. I am going to change the height and I'm going to make it six. I want two of these. So I'm going to do control D. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it across till I'm happy. And then this is how I'm going to line them up. Shift select. So I've got two shapes selected. I'm going to group them. Then when I grab all of this, I'm going to look at it from a corner. I'm going to choose a line, make the yellow one the boss, and I want the middle and the middle. And then I'm going to tell it top. This lets me see these posts. So now I can set the work plane on top of those posts. And when we hit D, it drops to the exact top. I'm going to change the color of my post real quick to a gray. I'm going to select those and I'm going to do group. It turns to one color. I want to make a multicolor. So I'm going to simply hit that. 
This time we're going to set the work plane up here on the top. Notice it is a little tricky because it's round. You want to make sure you find a flat spot. And then we're going to click this and do D to drop. That way it's at the very top of our chair. Select them both. Choose a line. Like I always tell you, let's peek at it from a corner. Notice it is smarter from this corner. We know we want middle, and we want middle, and we want back. Friends, now that I got it aligned, let's do F to fit view. Notice it is not quite where I want it. So I'm going to back it up with the arrow keys. I'm going to sink it in just a little bit. And then I want to make it just a little smaller. I'm going to make sure my nudge is set at 0.1 or 0.25. And then I'm just going to shift shrink until it's the exact size I want. Orbit around to make sure it's perfect. I do like that. So now I'm going to select them both. And I am going to do group. Let's put the work plane down on the bottom and check out our sweet new custom bucket seat. So friends, I just want to let you know, once you build it, you can do control C, switch to another Tinkercad project and you can copy and paste it. That way you get custom colors for any project, but also you can take this design. Notice I have grabbed it all and I'm going to switch to your creations. Now, if I hit create shape while it's selected, it becomes a part that I can use in any other project. So I'm going to call it bucket seat and I'm going to put blue because this is my blue one. You could give it a description. I'm going to put the tag here so I can track it. Bucket seat. I'm going to put car seat, whatever you want to tag it. So it's easier to search. I never lock the part size and then I hit save shape and it'll be available over here in the list for any other project. I create. Friends, I want to give a huge shout out to Brian asking me to create this. I think it's going to be super useful. Hopefully you all learn a ton of basic skills and then can use this in a boatload of projects. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you totally make my day if you take time to leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.